right? Well, I like saying it's a stage choice at any rate. Practicing his B reversals, that's good. Seen how much of Pidgey play? Uh, I think he was on stream a couple times. Is that right? I believe so. Yeah. So far, anyway. I'm guessing he was seeded pretty high. Yeah, oh, he was second seed. Z's uh, won an SES before. I believe it was the SES May one he won. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, looks like we're going to the proper game so now. Whoever wins this proceeds on to uh, winners' finals to fight against uh, Ander. Yep. I saw him Pokemon Stadium game one. Ah. Off the brakes, explosive start there. That's a fair yeah. chunk of damage you jump off right off the bat. Approaching with uh, Thunder Jolt, good idea. Feels like Pidgey just playing the keep away game here, makes total sense. They're both playing neutral well. Oh, that down air is very explosive. Tries to get the uh, down B. I see him just fading around that down there. Yeah, this is Lucara. Fair's gonna take him off stage. Ooh, that would be very, very close to hitting. That very, very nearly to the bash though. It's quite funny, because Pikachu is pretty good at weaving around the like Clyro's attempts to hit him. Yeah. And he can definitely get an early kill in if he's lucky. He could roll on. Alucario's got I think aura caps off at about like 180 maybe? Yeah. I mean Pidgey read the jump there and delayed a bit, but he got the Aurasphere kill just beating right through the Thunder Jolt. That dash, dash tag is just going to even things right up though. Excellent. We're yeah, probably. Pika's dash is weirdly strong for someone of his size. He's definitely got a bit of that privilege going on. As far as uh, Smash characters go, he's definitely up there as one of the strongest in the game. Oh yeah. And it's no longer just Esam that thinks that. Charging his Aura Sphere. Ooh, down B. Nice. I actually recently found out that um, the power of uh, Lucario's uh, down B is actually determined by how much aura he has, not of the hits. Which I think is a pretty interesting mechanic. It can be pretty scary because you jab him at high percent he reads with the counter, he can just straight up kill you off of that yeah. counter. Runs away and rolls and still gets hit by the oil sphere. Neutral air can beat out by back air. Oh, misses the down air. That would be fatal. Oh, he's going for the jab lock, but does not quite get it. Whoa. There we go. Yeah. Is that just off a T jolt? Yeah, it was just off a T jolt. Wow. The counter can definitely be terrifying. I think it's double team is the counter. I think that's what it's called. Oh, yeah, just catches him, jump up. It's been a very close game so far. Indeed. Very, very back and forth. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to game five and we'll on see, judge by how they're playing. Do uh, Orti and Pidgey have any other uh, counter picks? Um, not really, honestly. Brian has a Yoshi, and Orti has an S. 
Why well, don't think we see either of those characters? To be perfectly honest. Oh, F tilt's gonna cancel that. Down air still being brutal. Misses the counter. Fishing for these back airs, pretty damn hard. Oh, and just the orange goes right over Pikachu. Both are playing the not get hit game very well. Oh, is that gonna catch them with that down there? That goes game one to Aughty there. Very excellent work so far. So, one of our fans are gonna see. So we're going to Kalos, makes sense. Nice. Gives Pidgey a lot of move, uh, room to move around with, which is like yeah. obvious. Like Kalos is very. Oh, we have the. I was totally wrong, the Ness has come out. Alright, okay. Interesting. Now that's interesting. I would have expected Ness versus Pika, but Ness versus Lucario is a bit. In, yeah, well. Oh, no, I can definitely see Ness versus Lucario will work pretty well for Ness, honestly. Alright. I've not seen Aughty's Ness, so I'll be interested to see how this goes. I know Aughty played Ness in Smash 4, but obviously Ness is kind of different in this game to how he plays. I see. I must say, Pidgey's movement is really nice. Oh yeah. Especially with this B, he just does the B reversal so consistently. But that uh, up smash over the ledge, classic. Wall jumps over. Good idea. <laughs> oh, he's not willing to be hit by an Aura Sphere here. He is throwing up those bags whenever he can. Ooh. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite get the heal off of that. Yeah, the PSI, PSI magnet can absorb so much health. Not so much damage can return into health. Excellent Ooh. response by Pidgey there. Obviously, I'm um, a fully charged Aura Sphere. We'll hear about 30% from the Magnet. That, that is but a terrifying much. amount to heal. But uh, Pidgey like answered very smartly there. I think with uh, Rob's fully charged laser, it's about yeah, about a bit less than 30, maybe. Ooh, up forward smash. Take and that is the terrifying power of Aura. <laughs> you do not want to get this character. Let this character get a lead. Now, I feel like if Audi keeps his cool, he'll be okay. Oh, not back throw. Yeah, he was maybe just panicking a bit there. Nearly there up. we go. There That's going to clear up. Now, he's obviously still got quite a bit to come back from this, though. Ness, I feel, can handle Lucario pretty well, but... I think you have to get through, like, just two times where he's going to have max aura. Well, not max aura, but very good aura. Mm -hmm. If he's able to deal with the next stock quickly, that's the main thing. Back here. Oh, PK fire. Everybody loves that. Jumps over the up smash. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pidgey is unfortunately just keeping his lead going here. He's not willing to let this go. Very close to just tipping the blast zone there. Ooh. Ooh. Not gonna quite kill, but very, very close. Yeah. The next yeah. grab he gets will 100% kill. Even that was a very nice recovery from Pidgey. Yeah, I'm I've going into the wall. Lots of Lucario's go for that. Yeah. Back throw. Oh, very, very nice what he tried to do there. Use the active hitbox. Oh, grab. Excellent. Across right, the stage, uh, wow. Obviously, no rage on the carryo, but all is a quite the deficit here. Can't imagine the carryo's disadvantage is too bad compared to other characters, since he's quite There are fast. definitely worse disadvantages for sure. Yeah. But oh. his recovery can be quite exploitable, which is the main oh. thing. Oh, there's a very unsafe. Uh, if our attempt down air, there Very is nice. going to take it. Unteckable thing. Mm -hmm. All right, 
So I wonder if we're going to see him sticking with the Ness or switching back to the Pikachu. I imagine we'll probably see Pika come back. Until he made the switch, potentially because he wasn't that comfortable with the matchup. He just feels like he just won it, you know? It's hard to say. Whoever gets through this one is guaranteed third and guaranteed a cash prize as far as I'm aware. Yes, whoever wins this is guaranteed Yeah, whoever wins third, this, yeah. yeah. So it's a very important game, really. Right, so we're on to FD and he switched back to the Pikachu. FD, okay. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm guessing uh, Pichu must feel incredibly confident on FD because this, you know, this is Pika's best stage. Pitcher feels Lucario's not got as much going for him, which definitely helps. Lucario's not got all the platforms to jump around to cover here. It's the grab up throw. Mm, doesn't quite get anything off of it. Forward air, B reverse, very nice. Oh, air dodge. Ooh, excellent catch from Ollie there. Very nice. Unfortunately, the angle that uh, Pidgey was to recover there was just right in the way of Pikachu's down there. Back air, can see another back air. I know some uh, Pikachu's absolutely love to do back air strings. Ah. Oh, he makes it back though. He did make it back, but unfortunately, he's still covering that recovery. This, these wall of electric attacks, they're just. How much you can do about it, oh honestly. Yeah. Oh, he's fitting in the work here. He's not letting uh, Pidgey get back to stage easily. Shield getting small. Uh huh. Don't be scared to shield anymore. Pidgey can throw a lot of air smashes here. He really wants this kill. Ooh. That will uh, take it with very, the double team. Very good read. Oh, he's still in a pretty good place here. Yeah, he's, he's still like got... Ah, didn't get the spike. Dash attack will take it. Pidgey it's... whiffs the back air and gets hit by the dash attack for Pikachu in return. Yeah, hitting the aerials with Pika is really difficult at times because he's so small. Yeah, it's very problematic. He's one of the smallest characters in the game. A lot of people struggle to deal with that. One back air. All right. Normally used to seeing several in a row. Oh, uh, goes for the grab misses. Four tilt. Definitely a bit of a scrappy game going on in this stock. We're both getting a lot of stray hits, but no solid confirms. Yeah. I think both are being very cautious about approaching uh, upper to back air will take it. Lands He's definitely hit. got a good chance here, being on the funny number of percent he is on. Especially now we have Aura. Oh for sure. Uh, like Lucario with Aura and this is the final stock. Things could definitely go any which ways. Very close to blast zone. Having said, Oti just definitely does not want him bringing this back. Yeah, Oti definitely isn't like playing around. He's still playing as well as he was earlier. Ooh, no grab. Right. Oh. Ah, great. But you definitely he knew, a bit he knew scared he there. Too, he would be too high percent to up throw to down B, so he went for a down throw. Very good. Definitely was feeling a bit scared towards the end. Gary was holding shield because he was really not wanting to lose that lead he had. Yeah. Callus again? Okay. Um. I 
that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I find it weird that um, definitely picking the much more like Pika favorable stages because I think Isam ranked that uh, Final Destination, Kalos were definitely the best ones, and Yoshi's as well. Yeah, I definitely don't know too much about uh, Lucario. Yeah, no, I'm not sure many people do, to be honest. He's a bit of a mystery. But I feel it's definitely the right stage for him, obviously, because in terms of Pidgey in particular, he does like having space to move around and live longer. That's the main thing. Oh, Lucario yeah. doesn't have a problem killing you, how, no matter how big the stage is once he gets the hit. But uh, having Pidgey kill you later is definitely a lovely thing for Lucario. Forward smash. Ooh. Oh, that was very. That nice. was very nice. Unfortunately, that uh, counter didn't uh, you know, didn't connect. Ready to sleep. Uh, Pidgey definitely recovering very, very nicely here, but uh, oh, he's just all over him right now. Okay, Aura Sphere will get him. Yeah, it's definitely one of the nicer things in this matchup. Aura Sphere just going to tank right through uh, Thunder Jolt. Oh yeah, that is true. Uh, dash back. Yeah. Look, it's sad, unfortunate for Pidgey here, though. Losing the first stop is the carry, definitely not something you want to have to do. No. You get really scared as well. He's very much the sort of character you need to have a lead as you're right. Trips him, gets a grab off it, off air, forward air. Players are well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, you're just pulling ahead here and showing that he is really in control of this match right now. Definitely. Back air again? No. Nope. Ooh, a little bit of mix up. He was looking for something there. Something cute. Yeah, that was definitely take. <laughs> up. Unfortunately for Pidgey, Oi oh, is still in a really good spot here. He's got an entire stock lead. I mean, unless maybe Pikachu get a very cheeky gimp, but I mean, is it even possible to gimp Pikachu? I would say it's more of their own fault than anything else. Yeah. You can force them into a situation that causes them to uh, SD, but obviously not the easiest thing in the world. Oh. That grab, we'll take it. Four there, again, close to the last zone. Uh, this is definitely not out with the realm's possibility for Pidgey to bring this back. Kyro is an incredibly explosive character. Yeah. Dash attack though, getting ever so stronger. Ooh. A double team will that absolutely ball. destroy him. It's looking possible, let's just say. But even so... I just feel like that uh, Audi has to play... Well, if he plays safe, it doesn't you know, do anything silly. Oh yeah, Pidgey knew the DI that time. Yep. Oh, he was looking for the DI in, but Pidgey needed to adapt out a bit more that time. Right, though, this is looking a tad tough. Very close to the percent we're up though, he's just gonna take Pidgey out here. Yeah, I think dash, that, yep, speak of the devil. That is 3-1 to Oi, pretty solidly convincing performance there. Uh, I think I might hop off the commentary for a bit now, see if anyone else wants to go on. Yeah, see who else we can get on. Alright, I will. See you later. Hey Bashmo, you're a clown. Alright, we'll get someone on the commentary in just a second then. So I'm not all by my own lonesome.